Our next speaker is Stephanie Lee, who's representing the Department of Community Health Sciences. And the title of her presentation is Scaling Innovations Across Disciplines, an Approach to Tackling Climate Change. On November 2nd, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines. It was the strongest cyclone ever recorded. I was panicked. My friends and colleagues were in the Philippines. My friend Adam lived in the epicenter in Tacloban. It took three days for him to surface on social media. These photos are his. As Adam waded through the flooded streets of his hometown, he went on a search for missing relatives and friends. For my friend Adam, and for me, climate change is personal. The data is clear. Global temperatures have been rising dramatically for the past century, and the consequences are now more apparent than ever. In a report released last year, 2014 was the warmest year yet. Carbon dioxide contributes to climate change. Emissions have reached unsustainable levels and primarily due to human activity. What can we as public health professionals do about climate change? NASA recommends a two-fold approach, mitigation and adaptation. In our sector, mitigation might look like scientific research contributions. An adaptation could be preparing vulnerable communities for these disasters. In the public health sector, we like to gradually use pilot programs. Now, if we shifted to a business sector approach called the lean startup approach, and we did the build, measure, and learn feedback loop, we could take community programs, go through the feedback loop over and over again to innovate, to improvise. Now let's take a large-scale macro case study. Germany had one of the largest carbon dioxide outputs in 1990. By 2006, they achieved the largest reduction in emissions. They tried new programs. They took out the ones that did not work. They scaled the ones that did, much like the lean approach. They worked across multiple sectors, creating legal frameworks, providing financial incentives, and engaging their citizens in behavior change campaigns. America is one of the largest polluters in the world. What if we adapted a model like Germany? That might look like political pressure, levying fines, providing economic incentives, and harnessing mass media to engage our citizens. On a more micro level, adaptation programs would prepare communities for disasters. They would equip them with emergency supplies, educate, and inform on disaster preparedness. Recalling back to the lean approach, if we could implement an immediate community-based program, we could take these macro and micro level concepts, do basic research, and apply these findings to scale, we could make a difference. Last year, global leaders met in Paris. They came to the consensus that we must not let the Earth rise more than two degrees Celsius, or else the consequences are irreversible. What can we do as individuals? Our voices could be credible allies to advocacy organizations such as the Citizens Climate Lobby, just like my friend Adam helped to rebuild his community post-disaster, we, as citizens of this earth and the communities that we serve, must take action. A wise Native American proverb said, we must treat the earth well. It was not given to you by your parents. It was loaned to you by your children. Thank you.